Hello. Um, today I'm talking about a very, very important thing. Um, but for, before I get started, um, everything I'll be discussing about Supernatural um, will be spoilers up to the seventh episode of the tenth season, uh, which is called Girls, Girls, Girls. So if you haven't seen up to that, don't watch this because there will be spoilers. Um, so I just, I wanted to talk about a thing I have seen in the Supernatural fandom within the last few weeks. Um, there's the character, Hannah, the angel. Um, I love her. I think she is an amazing character, and I think she is amazing with Cass, um, platonically and romantically. I think they get along really well, and I think she truly cares about him. And he, I think he truly cares about her too. And the thing is, with Hannah, it's different than it is with Cass and the, and the boys. Because the boys are usually, I don't want to say using Cass, because I think they are friends. I think they do love each other. But the boys don't know when to stop sometimes, and they use, they use Cass um, to get what they need. Not that that's like some horrible bad thing, um, but sometimes the, the Sam and Dean push Cass a little bit too far, maybe farther than he can go, and Hannah is much more careful about that. She was much more concerned about his health and how well he was, and, um, and I just think you don't have to ship hands to hell to see the points I'm making, but I just want to talk about why I think Hannah is such an amazing character, and why I think she's such an amazing character with Cass, and why I'm kind of a little bit mad. I don't, well, I don't want to say that. I'm just, I'm a little bit upset with how some people reacted to who Hannah was and how, what she was doing. Um, they... Especially with the promo for Girls, 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 when it came out with the previous episode after it, everyone was so upset that they kissed. They were all just like, oh my god, I can't believe they're doing that. That's getting in the way of Destiel. I can't believe that. I just want to tell you, like, calm down. I mean, I ship Destiel a little bit too. I mean, not hardcore. I, to be honest, I see, you know, the reality of, will that ever really happen? I don't know. Um, but the point was that hand steel was happening now, and I liked it, I enjoyed it, I thought they were super good together. And yet, you see these people who are hating on her because there's, like, something different from what they want is happening. And I don't like seeing that in the fandom, because Supernatural is an amazing show, and there's amazing fans, and we all come up with amazing fan art and fan fiction, and I love seeing it all. But I was a little sad because, especially right after that promo where I saw the kiss, and I was just like, oh my god, it's gonna happen, I'm so excited. I went on Tumblr and I was just, and I was just looking at the Hansdale tag, and I was just like, oh my god, I hope, I bet there's gonna be a bunch of edits already, and everyone's gonna be like, yeah, and like, almost every post I saw was just negative. It was terrible. And I don't want to say that, I don't want to say every post, because it was not every post, because there were, there are blogs on Tumblr they're like, uh, that felt the same way I did, and I, I don't want to say, you know, everyone was bad. There were, it wasn't everyone. But, um, I was, like, a little disappointed uh, how some people took it. And, I mean, if you don't want it to happen, that's fine. Say that, but don't be mean about it. And, um, I don't know, I just, I was disappointed uh, how some people reacted. And th there were some people who did fine, though. I mean, it, was, it wasn't everyone. I don't, I mean, I feel like a teacher lecturing our class. Like, it wasn't everyone that got us in trouble. It was just a few kids. Um, but, long story short, I, like, for me, I love Hansdale. I think it is the cutest thing. Um, it's about on a level of Megsdale for me. I will take, I, I love both of those ships. I think Cass would be happy with either of them. Um, because they both, both of those girls care for him in ways that Dean and Sam kind of don't. They care about, I mean, they, they care about him, obviously. I do not want to undermine that. But, um, they care about him in a sort of different way. 
whereas uh, they're like, they care that he is healthy enough to help them. And, you know, he's, uh, like, he is okay. But Sam and Dean, and this is not their fault, I mean, I would blame it on John because he's a terrible person in the first season, in my opinion. <laughs> That's a whole nother video, though. Uh, that they have been raised in a way where they're like, well, you're still breathing, so you're okay. My hair is all knotted. Why do I even try? Um, but, uh, but... Cass and with Cass and Hannah they it, there's actual there's like a deeper level of caring because she wanted to like she cared more about who he was and what he was doing with his life and how he felt about everything and that I think is more important and um how she was handled in this last episode um uh, girls, 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 yeah, that episode, um, was good. I mean, I loved, I love that, I like the twist of, you know, these humans that the angels are possessing are, you know, they still, they had, they had lives, and, but my thing is, like, they said yes the first time, and maybe, yeah, they didn't know what they were saying, but they, they said yes, so, yeah, I just want Hannah back, but, um, I do like that twist, and I think it was it was really right of Hannah to do what she did. Um, but I would just like to say, if you if you want to, I, I suggest that you do like go back and watch the episode and see like just watch Cass, watch how he reacts to everything that Hannah does, and watch how after they kiss, they kiss. This is something I noticed. Uh, they kissed once to show. You know, yeah, they're together, haha, -ha, to the husband. And then they sort of kissed twice. Like, they, um, like, uh, he kissed her again. Just to, uh, like, like, get something more. Like, it wasn't, it, like, sort of the act faded away a little bit. And when she pulled away, you know, because the other guy was in the room, um, the look in Cass's eyes kills me. Because it, you can see something there. And, um... And then later when, lit, towards the end of the episode, when Hannah, Hannah, huh, Hannah was like, uh, she's like, you know, it's time to go, I have to go. She says, goodbye, Castile, and you know, she smokes out, I don't know if it's the same thing for, the same term for angels, but whatever. Um, and I think that's, uh, it really sort of hurt Castiel, and, and when something hurts Castiel, it hurts me, because Cass is my favorite. And it's just really s sad, because all I want is for him to be happy, and I really, really think Hannah could have brought that to him. I think she could have made him happy. And yet, here we are, and um, the writers have written her out. But then, it, I mean, I don't, not that I don't like the writers, I love the writers, obviously. I've been here for ten seasons. Um, but I think... Maybe, like, I don't know if it was the right choice to write her out. I th The way that they did write her out, I think, was brilliant. But I don't, I don't know if it was her time to go. I feel like she went a little bit early. Uh, left a little bit early. But I also don't think she's gone. <laughs> because when is anyone ever really gone on this show? So, long story short, the whole point I made this video is, one, I do not want to see any more hate on her. It's so frustrating because they're all everyone just hated her and I don't the, but no no other reason than oh Desiel that she's ruining that um no <laughs> stop <laughs> like I don't I don't get that I mean you can ship what you want but don't bring other people down that is my lesson of this video and then on the in the world of the show the point of this video was I just want Cass to be happy like, he has, I mean, Sam and Dean have had crap tons of just horrible things happen to them, but so has Cass. He's been around since, you know, literally the dawn of time, and, um, it's just all these terrible things have happened to him, and he, every so often he gets these little glimmers of hope, and then they just flutter away. So, I just want him to be happy, that's it. And I don't care 
I mean, I do care a little bit, but, like, I'd be fine if it was Meg that came back and made him, ha made him happy, because I think that she could too. Or Hannah. I, I mean, both of those girls could make him so happy, and that is what I care about. So, yeah. <laughs> I talked a lot. It's been ten minutes. Uh, sort of a long video, sorry. But I just really felt the need that I needed to get this all out, because I, it's important to me. And, yeah, that's, I just needed to talk about my little baby cats. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to hear more nerdy supernatural talk with me. Um, occasionally I slip into a British accent because I watch too much BBC. If you didn't notice that, I know, I noticed that myself. I do that a few times in this video. But, um, there will be more supernatural stuff coming your way soon. Me and my friend had this plan a while ago to do, like, supernatural discussions and talk about stuff in the show from past seasons, like, sort of moral dilemmas and demons versus angels, what character falls in what category type thing. Um, so, uh, that'll be coming sooner or later, makeup videos coming soon, blah blah blah. Uh, so yeah, have some happy holidays. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Bye!